Back in 2013, Rubbercraft started with a small team of enthusiastic developers interested in making a vehicle combat sandbox video game. Since then, Rubbercraft has grown into an original MOBA game and franchise, and I've enjoyed the game along with millions of others worldwide. But for some players, the incessant updates haven't been all unicorns and rainbows. For those players, late 2014 and early 2015 versions were the best version of the game. So when Freejam announced a shift in focus away from regular Robocraft to their cool new Robocraft X, old players decided to try and preserve a version of Robocraft from the Golden Ages. Namely, a version from October 24th, 2014. And thus was born the Robocraft Project. The day before Freejam's announcement, there were plenty of signs that it was coming, so a few people made a chat server to gauge interest in patching the game. I'm happy to say I was among the first to join, but I was preempted by the two main devs in the project, Cleodron and DJ Gavin 588 Since the Robocraft project's inception on the 17th of June 2019, the project has exploded. The Devil Robocraft project server passed 666 members just a couple of weeks later. That's roughly one-fifth of the official Robocraft server. But of course, server population doesn't mean anything without actual progress in getting the 2014 game working again. Early in development, the devs spent countless hours understanding the decompiled code. To add to the challenge, the code was obfuscated so the work involved reading computer bar. Once the functionality was sufficiently understood, parts were modified to replace the dependency on the Robocraft servers. Unfortunately, the modified game couldn't be distributed without breaking the terms of service for Robocraft. Not that you actually had to explicitly agree to that to download the game, but either way, Freejam wasn't exactly enthused. So the Robocraft project shifted focus into straight server emulation. It wasn't long until users could log in and start building robots. It was a slight nuisance to log in though. Robocraft checks for updates immediately on startup, so you'd have to switch off your internet briefly to get to the login screen. The devs did create a simple batch file to solve the issue, which worked for most people on Windows. Linux and Mac OS users, on the other hand, didn't get all that support since it wasn't a big priority, since Robocraft still worked without the script. But just in case, I did make a script later to automate startup for the rest of the desktop PC market. The next step in server emulation was getting bot saving and test mode working. As of now, this is as far as the dev team have gotten, but the devs aren't stopping yet. Server development is still ongoing, but there are some things the devs and I would like to see accomplished. Possibly the most important part is emulating all server functions. I'm sure most people would like to be able to play against other players, but unfortunately that's not possible right now. Being able to battle is a big undertaking with emulating matchmaking and match servers, but the Rorcraft project developers seem ready for the challenge. Personally, I'd like to see a public release of the server emulator, since up until now users have to rely on the goodwill of the dev team to keep their server up and running. Don't get me wrong, the devs are great people who have earned my respect for getting the servers running, but I just don't believe they will be able to keep it going indefinitely. Open sourcing the server emulator's code could even help extend the life of the project by allowing other people to set up and customize their own Robocraft servers. If you're interested in learning more about the Robocraft project or even contributing to it, I've put all their information below, including the project's Discord server. Thank <laughs> you.